Welcome to this final daily devotion for me in Cranwyn Kirk in Edinburgh on Friday the 25th of September. This week sees the end of my time at Cranwyn before we as a family head down the road to Boswell Parish Church to begin an exciting new ministry there for us and our family. Today though we begin with words from Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Let's turn to God now in prayer. Let us pray. God of life, we come now in praise and thanksgiving that you died on the cross for our sins and you rose from the dead conquering death itself we give thanks that love won and we pray that you be with us now as we come in praise and thanksgiving in jesus name we pray amen today's by reading is matthew 28 verses 1 to 11 and we're looking at the hymn see what a morning it seems only right that as this is my last day of devotion, that I share another of our family's favorite hymns. You would have seen just moments ago in the introduction, Richard, William and Lily dancing away as see what a morning played in the background. It's a hymn which may not be well known to many in Cramond, but is one filled with words of hope. It's written by Keith Getty and Stuart Townend, and it's a song filled with the imagery of resurrection of hope and triumph over death itself. It's not a peaceful song to fall asleep to, but one filled with the immediacy of the Easter morning experience and how that morning changed history forever. The Easter story is one filled with hope. This Easter we were unable to celebrate together due to COVID, yet we remembered and celebrated how God ended the greatest lockdown ever. As the hymn says, death is dead, love has won, Christ has conquered. So listen once again to those familiar Easter words as we listen now to the word of God. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, do not be afraid. I know that you're looking for Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. And he, as he said, come. See the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Amen and thanks be to God. Let us still our hearts and still our minds as we turn once again in prayer to God. Let us pray. You, O oh God, love us from the moment of our conception. You know us and you love us in the womb. You love us and you call us from before the moment of our first breath. And you love us when we first see the light of day. 
as a parent loves their child before they ever see them and then embraces them gently from the moment of their birth. So you love us and we thank you. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. You love us, O God, from the time of our naming. You love us in our growing and hold us as we take our first steps. You love us and walk beside us as we explore the world with eager hands and eyes. As a parent loves their child and they see them grow and develop. So you love us and we thank you. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. You love us, O God, as we mature and seek our way. You love us as we become aware of the world around us. And you love us as we smile and play. You even love us when we say no and when we begin to stray. As a parent loves their child and they see them become proud and tall. So you love us even when we sin and fall. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. We thank you, God, for loving us when we are unloving, for caring for us when we are uncaring, and for calling to us when we go far away. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way. Lord, hear our prayers of love this day for all those around us, for all those we have held before you in our time of sharing, and for those we have thought of in our moments of care. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. Can I take this opportunity to say thank you very much for all the love, support, friendship that we have seen at Cramond. Thank you for having us, thank you for putting up with us, and thank you for sharing in your life with us for a bit. Before we go and listen to the song today, there's a few other people who want to say their goodbyes as well. But for me, for now, God bless, goodbye, and thank you very much. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.